Hi blockchain enthusiasts and welcome to this first episode of my Cardano Developer Adventures. I got into the third edition of the Plutus Pioneer program and in this series of video I will show you what it is to follow the 10 weeks training and I hope it will motivate you to start Cardano development as well. If you follow cryptocurrencies, you probably know about Cardano. It's the blockchain backing the ADA token. It was created in 2015 by Charles Hoskinson, co-founder of the Ethereum project. The blockchain is open source and mainly built and maintained by AOHK. It's a blockchain research and development company, also founded in 2015 by Charles Hoskinson and Jeremy Wood. Cardano as a blockchain provides multiple advantages. First, it is based on peer-reviewed research to provide strong warranties about its functioning. Then, it is verifiably secure, which is important since nowadays blockchains run critical applications like decentralized finance. It is also a proof-of-stake blockchain with minimal energy requirements. And finally, it is built to scale to the most demanding situation. Again, it's critical since a successful blockchain handles heavy loads of transactions. However, it has been criticized mainly because of its slow release cycle. Since every feature is peer-reviewed, it takes more time to put them into production compared to other blockchains. In that sense, it would be possible for other blockchains to dominate the market before Cardano get massively adopted. Last but not least, Cardano supports smart contracts. It is then a pretty good choice as a backend for decentralized applications. What are smart contracts and why are they so useful? A smart contract is simply a program stored on the blockchain and executed when a specific condition is satisfied. The blockchain stores and executes the program, while users send transactions to interact with functions defined inside the smart contract. In response, it can update its state and produce new transactions on the blockchain. Let's look into a simple example to understand how we can use it. Imagine we have one month to raise money for a foundation, but we want every participant to be refunded if we do not reach a minimum goal of 100 ADA. We can write a smart contract for it. It has two conditions. First, the time, one month. Then, the minimum raising goal, 100 ADA. After one month, we trigger the smart contract on the blockchain. If the conditions are satisfied, the foundation will receive the money, and if not, the participants will get back their donations. If you think about it, implementing such a scheme with the traditional banking system would be difficult. How do you prove that money will be transferred to the foundation? And how do you prove that every participant will be refunded if we do not reach the minimum goal? With smart contracts on the blockchain, you can verify the only two possible outcomes beforehand. Either the foundation will receive the money, or the participants are refunded. That's the power of smart contracts, the automatic execution of agreements without the need of intermediaries. What is the Plutus Pioneer program? This is a 10 week long program to train developers to build and deploy Plutus contracts on the platform. This is crucial, since the more decentralized applications run on the blockchain, the more likely it is to be successful in the long term. This is the third court, but it's the first one since Cardano introduced smart contracts with the Alonzo update. It's exciting since we will have the opportunity to deploy real smart contracts after the course. Before Alonzo, only simulators were available. AOHK is providing the learning material for Plutus development, and Lars Brunies, the director of education, is teaching the course. Every week, on Thursday, we get a new lesson with exercises, and the next Tuesday, we have a live Q&A session. We also have access to the Cardano Stack Exchange and the Discord community to help each other. Interestingly, the Cardano Foundation chose Haskell as the language for the Plutus platform. 
it might turn off some of the enthusiasts since it's not the most popular or easiest language to learn. However, they have strong arguments for their choice and they make sense. As a purely functional language, Haskell encourages pure functions. A pure function is a function without side effects. For the same input, it will always produce the same output. It's a good feature because side effects make it more difficult to reason about your program. And since smart contracts perform actions on the blockchain, it's critical to understand the code carefully. Secondly, Haskell via tools like Liquid Haskell can be formally verified, proving that the implementation conforms with the research papers. We can then prove that the blockchain will behave as expected. Personally, I used Haskell a bit back in my bachelor degree when I learned functional programming. I liked it, but did not use the language so far. So I'm slowly reviewing the basics and getting familiar with the syntax again. Keep in mind that even though the base language is Haskell, nothing prevents people from writing scripts to compile from other languages like Python to the Plutus platform. But it's not done yet. Since the Plutus platform is quite new, there is little online resources and support. The main place to start building the knowledge base for the community and future developers is the Cardano Stack Exchange. However, AOHK provides Nix packages to facilitate building and replicating the development environment. If you don't know Nix, it is a special package manager powering the NixOS Linux distribution. You can install it on other OS and it helps isolating and reproducing complex environments easily. First, Lars explained to us the EUTXO model behind Cardano. This is an extension of the UTXO model introduced by Bitcoin. UTXO stands for Unspent Transaction Output. It's a model where transactions can only take input the output of previous other transactions. As soon as the output is consumed by a transaction, it can never be used again. The EUTXO is an extension to the UTXO model allowing the creation of powerful smart contracts. It's also mathematically proven to be as expressive as the Ethereum model while limiting drastically the security risks. We'll talk about the EUTXO model in more details in a future video. Secondly, we learned that the Plutus contracts are composed of an on-chain and off-chain part. The on-chain codes run on the blockchain, while the off-chain code run on the user's machine. The on-chain code validates and executes the smart contracts, while the off-chain code is used to create transactions compatible with the smart contract before sending them to the blockchain. The off-chain code is not necessary, and the blockchain works without it. However, it helps a lot to interact with complex smart contracts. The end user do not have to craft complex transactions. The off-chain code on his machine takes care of it. The first week exercises are here to show us what is possible with Plutus. So we don't start coding, but we will import and simulate an already existing contract on the Plutus developer playground. The example is about auctioning. Let's say we own an NFT on the Cardano blockchain and we want to sell it to the highest bidder. We have two conditions for our smart contract. Firstly, we have a limited time span. And secondly, we have a minimum amount for the bid. After we build the dependencies on the project and the environments, we can import and compile the smart contract in the developer playground. It allows us to simulate interactions with the smart contract on the blockchain. We create three wallets, the owner of the LFT and two bidders. Then we create the interactions. First, the creation of the bid with the deadline. 
the NFT and the minimum bid. Then we create some bids with the second and third wallets. We carefully simulate waiting times between the interactions to let time for the blockchain to process the transactions. Finally, we run the simulation and get access to a visualization of the different transactions executed on the blockchain. This is super valuable as a developer to understand what is happening and will facilitate our life later when we develop our first smart contracts. Thanks for watching. I'm Jimmy and I work as a machine learning engineer. It was the first video on my channel. I recently started a blog, bitswire.com, about artificial intelligence, data science, and blockchain. This channel will cover approximately the same topics. If you liked, subscribe and comment. I would appreciate any feedback. You can also subscribe to my newsletter on my website, bitswire.com. Stay tuned.